You're watching. I want you to know that it was your example and your advice that convinced me I had to honor my promise to Scotty and get help. My exam. Yeah. Yeah, remember the last time we talked about it? You, you just put it so beautifully about what group therapy did for you and your marriage to Dad. Oh, yes, I did, didn't I? Yeah. You told me that there's a perfect beauty and, and meaning when a husband and wife share a close, totally honest relationship. Honesty is very, very important in a marriage. Honesty and trust. It's something that Rick and I have always told each other that we believe. I'm going for her life. Afraid of what Helen might do to her. And now that the baby's born, I have to tell Leslie, I have to tell her the truth. And I'll have to rely on our marriage being strong enough to survive that. Sandra's so worried, he really wants to talk to you. You gonna let me in? Oh, uh, yeah, but we have to be very quiet. We mustn't wake Leslie because she really needs some sleep. But you can go ahead and call Scotty as long as you're very quiet. I have to see my mother. Wait, you don't understand. She really has to get some rest. No, Amy, you don't understand. You're a guest in this house, and you're not Leslie's daughter. I am, and if I want to see my mother, I will. Dad! Laura, what a nice surprise. Well, I hear you and Alan were big heroes at the hospital last night. Oh, I'll get it in. Oh, I just want to pick it up so that Leslie can sleep. Thank you. Hello. Oh, uh, Rick, this is Steve. I hope I'm not waking you. No, 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 Steve. Good. I don't want to alarm you, but I have an emergency. About Monica. Yeah, Dana confided in me about Monica's condition, the possibility that she might not make it. She's going to make it, Steve. She has to. I'm glad that's your attitude, because I want you to come down here and talk to her. She's refusing to let me tell Alan what her true situation is. You think Alan has the right to know, don't you? I lean that way, yes. Monica's got me worried, Rick. I think she's preparing herself for death. At any rate, she wants to talk to you before anything happens. I'll be right there, Steve. Emergency at the hospital, excuse me. Mother, I'm really sorry, but I need to talk to you alone. Ah, I'll just get... Is there something wrong that I should know about? Alan, I, I can't keep this from you any longer. I made a promise to Monica, but I'm simply going to have to break it. Keep what from me? She's losing ground. For some reason, she seems to have lost the will to live. Alan, I've tried talking to her. I don't think anything I've said seems to sink in. Or she's indifferent to it all. Do you know of any reason why she should feel so despondent? No. It doesn't make any sense at all. Why would she lose the world to live? I mean, we finally, we finally have everything in this world that we've ever wanted. A son, our child, and he's just down the hallway. They're lying in an incubator, and, and he needs his, he needs his mother. Alan, now get hold of yourself. You go in and see Monica like this, you'll make her more upset than she is now. I don't understand it. I don't understand it, I can't relate to it. I know she's not responding well, but to have lost her will to live? Why? Alan, I think it's a combination of factors on her mental state right now. She told you that? No, but it's not very hard to figure out. After everything she's been through the last few months, the Kokorian mess to start. Now, that was something that shook us all up. Look, I know that the Kokorian message you say was... Well, it was very ugly, but it isn't enough to make someone want to stop living. It is a combination of factors. Then the fall. And the complications from that fall didn't show up until now, when she delivered the baby. A premature delivery in a storm, a storm that nearly killed her and the baby. Now, I would say that right now she is totally mentally and physically exhausted. Even so, to, to have lost her will to live? Alan, you've got to help her. You've got to make her change her outlook. It's a big job, but you have to do it. What can I do? Go in there, talk to her, tell her she has something to live for, for your sake, for the baby's sake. And what if I can't? What if I fail? You better not. She could die. That Monica might not pull through. Alan, don't give any energy to that thought at all. It's dangerous. 
You have to make Monica believe that she has every chance of pulling through. As a result, you've got to act and think like she does. Believe me, I will try. I'm sure you will. You know, a great part of what I'm feeling is, is selfish because I couldn't live without Monica. It's not selfish to want a love relationship like that to go on. Sometimes I wish that I didn't feel quite so deeply about her as I do. If I wasn't so totally committed because then maybe the fear that I'm feeling right now wouldn't be so overwhelming. I understand. I feel the same way about Leslie. Alan, you have to do nothing but convey absolute confidence to Monica that she will pull through. Now, promise me you'll do that. I'll try like hell. I'm counting on you a lot more than you know. And Leslie is too, I'm sure. Your new cleaning lady. Rick, I'm going in to see Monica for a few minutes now. Not just yet. Leslie's in with her. Still? Well, we had a lot of planning to do. We wanted to be sure we were taking the same tack with Monica. I hope she can reach her. Well, I know she's trying. <laughs> 